Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a video all about my monthly favourites, stuff that I have really really enjoyed using this month. It's predominantly makeup, skincare and tools. Makeup tools, hair tools, that kind of thing. So if you want to know what I've been loving this month then just keep on watching. <laughs> I have more to look at now that I'm in this. I'm really sorry if this is a really bad background, but I thought I'd mix it up a little bit. I've tied my hair up. It's 2020, so things are different this time. Okay, first of all, I just want to start off by saying happy 2020. Who would have thought that we would have made it, but we have. So congratulations if you've made it to this point. So for today's video, I am actually going to be talking about my monthly favourites. So predominantly I got most of this stuff for Christmas and I've just been trialling it out for like the last month or so and I've really, really been enjoying it. Like really, 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 really been enjoying it. Stuff that I think that you lot should all go and purchase as well. So to kick things off, I think I'm going to start with makeup. I've got a couple of bits, makeup palettes, that kind of thing, but you'll see. Okay, so the first product I'm going to be talking about is this lip set from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And when I saw this, oh my god, did I fall in love or did I fall in love? I kept seeing it on Instagram. This is it here. So as you can see, the whole set is all beautiful nudes. You have sand on mute peachy beaming and then a lip gloss but yeah i've really really been enjoying these i love the lip gloss it's not necessarily i mean you could wear it on its own but i love it on top of velvet teddy i know i go on about it but if something's not broken don't try and fix it but honestly this is amazing on top of velvet teddy but yeah i've really really been enjoying these and yeah i've expanded my nude collection and I also think you should as well. So the next product that I'm going to be talking about is a benefit product. And this is the Cheek Leader Bronze Squad. So don't get confused. There are two versions of this. This one is more bronzy. I know. Uh. So my sister actually has the Huda Caramel. And it is honestly the... Oh my god, it's just it's just so nice. I love the original Hula, but I also love the Hula Caramel. It's a lot more warmer than the Hula. Um, be careful with it because it is so pigmented. I remember I was just swirling my brush in it, like, you know, doing my thing. And it was so pigmented. So you, you literally need such a light hand with this. And I love the blushes in there as well. I've really started to get into blush. And these are really, really nice. The gold rush one is really nice on the top of your cheekbones because it's got that slight uh it's got a slight reflectance slash like highlighter business going on so it looked really really nice and cookie the highlighter is my new favorite i used to well i still do rave about the makeup forever pro light fusion highlighter but it is it's it's up there for like one of my top threes and this is also really good value for money this was only 52 pounds and if you think about it, each each one of these pans is like £25 each as a single on their own. So you're actually saving yourself money buying this. But yeah, really highly, highly recommend this palette if you're all about your base. So now I'm going to talk about my slight little obsession. It's becoming a bit of a problem. But when these products are this good, you just... It's worth every penny. So... I actually have been using the P. Louise bases for the longest time. I started off using the base in Room 02, which I now use as a concealer, which I have actually got on today. And I also have the shade 4 as well for when I've got fake tan and I use it as an eyeshadow base. So I thought, why not expand my collection in the bases? So I actually managed to get the Basic Bright collection which I have used, uh, I think, I, yeah, I uploaded it on my makeup account. So if you want to see how I use that, I highly recommend going onto my Instagram. And then I also have been using the Basic Brights as well, which again, 
I, I cannot rave about the bases enough. Whenever, whenever a friend asks me, I need a new concealer or I need a new eyeshadow base, like, what do I use? I always point them in the direction of P. Louise because it is such a good brand. It's such good value for money as well. And I also got the black and white eyeshadow base as well. So I could be a bit, oh my God, white has a mind of her own. So yeah, I actually have been, I've got these as well. And I've been loving the black as an eyeliner, like as a gel eyeliner. And also the white base for really brighten up, brightening up the waterline as well. So again, really, really re recommend those products too. Okay, I feel like this is going to be a really short video unless I'm just powering through them like so quickly. Okay, so next up I'm going to be talking about brushes. Now, I'll probably have a different opinion on brushes compared to some people. I personally feel like if you have a good brush set, you could literally do any look with any type of makeup. So personally for me, I feel they're such an investment. So, and I know I go on about my Morphe x Jaclyn Hill collection brushes and all of that but I was so lucky at Christmas to get the Sigma essential brush set now this is the box because the rest are in my makeup brush box but I do have four brushes I really want to highlight and talk about but yeah so I oh my god I have I think I've got about three or four other Sigma brushes which I am obsessed with they just apply so much better than my Morphe ones. Although my Morphe ones do really well for the price point, I will always love Sigma. Like, honestly, they are literally just the best brushes I've ever used. So I'm quickly just gonna read off what brushes you, oh, what brushes you actually do get in the box. So you get a Eero 5 eyeliner brush, you get an E30 pencil, E40 tapered, tapered blending brush, E55 eye shading, E60 large shader, E65 small angle, E70 medium angled shading brush, a F30 large powder, an F40 large angled contour, a F50 duo fiber, and a F60 foundation and an F70 concealer brush. So you do get a lot. I know, oh my, what is wrong with me? <laughs> So yeah, they are the brushes that you get in the box. So the ones I really want to talk about, which I feel has changed the way my makeup looks, are these four right here. So there's only one brush that didn't come with the box I had originally, but I've fallen back in love with recently. So the first one I want to talk about is the Duo Fibre Brush. This brush honestly is, oh, it's just so amazing. Basically going to give you like really dewy skin. And I literally cannot even begin to explain the first time I used this because I used a flat kabuki brush beforehand and it was really dense. I felt like my foundation, it, I don't really know how to explain it. It almost casted like a layer of foundation on my skin and it just sat funny on my face. I mean, obviously it, it done me well for so long, but when you use something different, you re actually realize how like not bad because it works really well for different foundations but because of the foundation I was using it just made my face look so cakey and it wasn't until I used this where I was like oh my god why did I <laughs> why have I been using that brush for so long but this one it really just melts into your skin and it really just it makes your skin look like skin and it I, because I'm so dry I want to have like dewy wet skin and this brush does this and it's I I literally just cannot rave about it enough. The next one I also want to talk about is the large powder brush that you get out of the set. This is amazing as like an all-round powder brush. I tend to use it to blend in my contour. I also use it to set my forehead as well. So yeah, really love this all-round amazing brush. And the difference as well with my brushes that I was using before compared to these ones, these are so much heavier. And I feel like when it's like held in the hand, more pressure coming from this end you go in with a lighter hand and it just it is a freaking amazing so the next one i also want to talk about is a small angle brush i've recently got into winged eyeliner again i never used to i was all about like rounded eyes and 
you know, tr really just trying to like fight against my almond eyes. So after watching Hannah Renee's video that she done, it was a um, how to be a catfish in 2020 or something like that. And she read she done the video last year as well, and she used a angle brush and also some eyeshadow to create like a smoky like, winged look. And I'm I'm obsessed with it. And this brush is super super thin. And because you're using it with powder as well, if you mess up, then you can just like wipe it away. But yeah, really highly recommend this brush as well. And then the next one, this one you can actually buy as a single. Uh, I know this because I bought this on Beauty Bay's website. I think I like, when did I buy it? Like a couple years ago, I think. And they kind of like dipped in and out of it and all of that. But honestly, if you want to do really, really detailed eye looks or even like a really nice smoky eye and you want to control where the product goes a lot more I highly recommend using this little brush like even just marking out where you want your crease colour to go using this is so much easier especially if I'm on a rush as well I literally just like dab it on and then take a bigger fluffy brush and just like blend it out but yeah I really high, highly recommend getting even just like it doesn't have to be Sigma it can be any brand but I highly recommend getting like a really really fluffy detailed brush because it just makes life so much easier next i want to talk about hair products so one of my goals for 2020 was to really get into styling my hair properly i literally have like one curling tong a hair dryer and that's about it i don't even own a pair of hair straighteners because my last hair straightener blew up so and because my hair's quite naturally straight anyway i can kind of get away with not straightening it i really wanted to invest in a tool that could give me like multiple looks and just be like as stress free as possible so i've actually got the mark hill pick and mix wand now i just want to quickly talk about the wand ever so much because this has changed my life honestly my norm my old curling tong which is it's like a it's just a fat barrel curling tong i really struggled getting to like the back of my hair whereas with this oh my god i literally can just go like that curl my hair same again that side and it is this little twist creation genuinely life-changing because i can actually do my hair on my own i don't have to have someone constantly like oh, is the back of my hair done like so yeah i really wow so this is really good and i actually got three heads for it because over christmas they were on three for two so these are the three curling heads that i got so i got the small barrel the I, I forgotten what this one is called but yeah this one <laughs> and then I also got the mermaid waver now I'm gonna be completely honest I haven't used this one yet this is on my list of things to do but because it was over Christmas I wanted to make sure my hair looked really really nice so this is something that I'm gonna be experimenting with in the foreseeable future but obviously I just wanted to show you the three that I got now this one is my most used one at the minute so this is a lot smaller than my original curling tong and it's what I've used on my hair today. I mean, I literally did it like, just did it like so e so, so quick, so, so easy. And this honestly is really, really it's, it's just really good. I was a bit apprehensive because of how small it was on the website. It looked a lot bigger. And then I also have used the Mermaid Waver as well. This again is, it's so different compared to like what I'm used to, but I do really like, how it looks and I really like it for when I want to make a little bit of an effort but I also want to look as if I haven't made effort if that makes sense and it's super quick to use as well because you've literally got like the three heated rods and you just duh, 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 duh. down 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 but yeah really like them finally I want to talk about skincare now skincare when I was putting my little Christmas list together I really solely focused on stuff that I necessarily wouldn't be able to afford to buy you know like being you know being a student and things like that so I really wanted to make sure that I got stuff that I knew was going to work and I knew was going to be sort of pricey but not pricey enough so if I run out then I can actually repurchase it so the first one I want to talk about is the Elemis Apricot Smoothing Toner now this it smells like a spa it smells so expensive and because it's from Elemis, it's 
it has honestly done wonders for my face. So if you watched my last video, I re uh, way before Christmas, I touched on the fact that I had really bad eczema. I mean, I don't know if you can see, it's still like quite bad on my neck, like here, but I have just fake tan today. So that's why, because I mean like all of this wasn't on my neck before I fake tanned. So anyway, I mean, it's not painful or anything, but even on my face, I really, really struggle to get the really prominent pieces of eczema off my face. So I had a patch under my eye, a patch on my cheek, and then also this eyelid, I think, if I remember. So I started using this and it has honestly done so much for my skin. I heard rumours that Elemis was really good for eczema and I don't want to say, yeah, problematic skin because I've got an acne range as well. So with this only being £25, although I'm buying into a really expensive brand because I mean some of their creams are like £150. Like, it's ridiculous. It's also not too bad if I run out, I can repurchase it. But yeah, I definitely will be repurchasing this, repurchasing this because it's, and it's cleared my skin up so well. Like, cleared my well I don't want to say cleared up because my eczema is still quite dry but it's not red anymore like it's taken the redness out of my eczema which is obviously what I wanted because I could just deal with like the slight flakiness of it but I highly recommend purchasing this and this was actually I put this on my Christmas list because of Gemma Miles because she always goes on about how amazing Elemis is and I was like okay then so yeah it was a combination of things but yeah so the next two products, which are going to be the last products of this kind of like monthly favourite slash what I got for Christmas slash what I've been trialling for last month video, is these two sleeping face masks. Now, I have to be so careful with my skin with any kind of mask. So a wash off mask, a sheet mask, sleeping masks, anything like that because my my face just I've had problems with it over the last couple of years well mainly, mainly my whole life right so I mean if you followed me on my Twitter account you would have seen the photo of my face <laughs> when I had an allergic reaction to a face mask right and just for like comedy I'm basically just gonna insert it here and you'll see what I mean. But ever since then, I have been so scared to try certain masks. I mean, that was like the pinnacle of like my skin just hating products, right? So the first one is from Ola Hendrickson. This is the Goodnight Glow Sleeping Cream. This is, oh wow. So it's just, like a little purple mask and it's it feels water-based because you really don't need a lot of it. it's got like a chamomile like lavender kind of scent to it so it is really really soothing and calming on the skin because of those aspects this part this came as part of a range i also got serum with it and a teeny mini um dark spot dark spot toner which is amazing for travel like it's unreal but yeah i've really really been loving this i've been using this like every other day which is really really bad because i'm literally just gonna rinse through it like so quickly but i love this it makes my skin feel really really plump and yeah i just love it so alongside that i also got the glam glow good in bed passion fruit softening night cream i actually this was off a madison sarah suggestion she did like a get unready with me like nighttime edition or something like that and she said about this and she said that she loves it so obviously i was like okay then i'll get it too this genuinely smells like you've cut a passion fruit in half it's so good and it again brings like plumpness into my skin it makes me feel just like smooth and like youthful even though but yeah i don't know <laughs> i really don't know but yeah it's it's just fantastic and it's really really good i do sometimes put these on at the same time depending on whether my skin's really bad but these i really recommend so this takes me to the end of the video so i hope you enjoyed having a glance into what i got for christmas slash what i've been loving this month 
and um, these are probably products I'm going to be taking into the next couple of months so I did get a few other bits as well which I'm actually saving for a video that's why I didn't include it in today's video and it'd be more of like a monthly favourites because these are stuff that I've used pretty much every day since I got them so yeah uh, like comment subscribe <laughs> love that for me and I'll see you in the next one see you later